Hello everyone, today I'm going to make an updated tithe farming guide and specifically we're going to look at the 25 by 4 route which means we're going to plant 25 seeds and do 4 cycles to finish the 100 seed pack that you get each time you enter tithe farm. Here we're going to use 6 tithe patches plus this final one here in the south to make sure that we get 25 seeds in each cycle. You'll see that there's some tile markers already available and these are going to guide us, uh, our character, along the optimal path, which optimizes the least number of clicks to interact with each of the uh, growing flowers, but also uh, to make sure that we minimize the amount of run that we are using in each cycle. I'm going to focus on a lower level setup. Here I only have 70 agility and 55 farming. And the main reason why I want to focus on that is because this is often the time where players want to do tithe farm on their Iron Man to make the skip from 54 farming, where you get increased experience from the Balagana seeds, and then also to jump to 65 farming, where you can start medium contracts, which are much better than the easy contracts, which are available at 45 farming. So to begin, uh, there's a couple things we want to keep in mind. So as we go through the cycle, we want to make sure that we're using the watering can and not the tithe farm option to water each of the plants. We want to use the watering can individually on each of the plants as this will save us some ticks. Additionally, I'm only going to show two cycles of this uh, uh, setup, mainly because I run out of run energy after two cycles uh, without any stamina potions or humidify. Then I fill with the water barrel and I wait to restart each time. So uh, players can find some time to maybe fletch or do something different in between here. Or if you have stamina potions, of course, bring them and refill after each cycle. So to begin, we'll follow the path here. We want to use these tiles because they allow us to always have one next to each other, which allows you to click directly on the plant with the watering can in the future to move your character and water with one click rather than two. And this allows us to have a, a more simple setup to the method. The nice part about this uh, setup rather than the tick perfect path is we can have some room for mistakes. You don't need to be tick perfect throughout this entire event. However, the, the more ticks we lose, the more likely it is to end up losing some of our plants along the way, which you don't want to do, because all of the rewards in the Tithe Farming minigame are all based off of intervals of 25, and we don't want to lose any points. So as we come along, we move around here. So this last row, we're going to go down completely vertical all the way. You're going to notice that some of the uh, tile markers are offset and this is so we always run on each of the tiles that we're moving on this side when we go to rewater. This is important to make sure that we maximize the speed that we're moving throughout the minigame. You'll notice my watering ticks aren't perfect but they will be sufficient to keep us going at a nice rate here. Okay, and then we come over and we continue along, going back through the patch and watering along the way. Here we move diagonally and we water. And to move the one horizontal, we can water directly by clicking the watering can onto the plant, saving us some ticks, or saving us some actions and allowing it to be a little bit more simpler on the wrist and not a lot of effort. Here you'll see as we come down this long row, this one we have to click to, and then here we can use our watering can. We click to move, and then we have two ticks to click the watering can. Here we can click, and then click, and then we move and click, and then click, and carry on. This makes it a much more comfortable cycle and allows for easier movement between the plants. You'll notice I don't keep any sort of rhythm with my watering cans. I just click what's easiest and move all the way through like this. 
You may find it simpler to keep a pattern so that you don't click on empty ones. However, it's not too significant of a drawback if you do click on empty ones, unlike in the tick perfect setup, because we can still have some extra time in the 25 by 4 cycle. And then we turn to our harvest cycle. Here we want to move in the same way, just as we did through the entire way and then we harvest each of the plants. Notice here we don't do any replanting as we wouldn't have enough time to finish the harvest and we want to be able to water on the first cycle. This method is nice because it allows us to take breaks between each of the cycles if you want to and it's not as stressful because we don't have to do all 100 seeds right at one time which is what you have to do when you're doing the pre-plant cycle. This is comfortable for people who are not playing as intensely or want to get up and move around more often. You'll notice I'm right around 50% run energy after one cycle. And then we'll start the second one, and I'll be able to go through the whole thing. It's important when doing this method, if you're using the watering can to refill, you want to make sure that you are always having 19 or more watering cans to make sure that you can water two cycles without having to stop. If you're using Humidify to refill, then of course you can bring whatever you find comfortable. However, I would still prefer that or suggest that you bring 19 unless you're making room for stamina potions. Again, this is a bit more of a relaxed cycle than the tick perfect cycle. However, it is important to note that if you do take your time too long in between some of these plants, that you will end up with dead plants losing your points, which is always not a good thing to do. If you're losing points in the beginning of the cycle, say it's your first time going through here, and you end up losing some uh, plants on the first harvest, it's better to restart the room, go back out, refill with 100 seeds, and then come back in as the points in Tithe Farm are based off of getting a minimum of 74, and then you get points for all of the plants afterwards. I also strongly suggest that you move through here on your first time and practice the cycle and see if you have all of your plants survive, of course continue. If you lose some, restart and start with a comfortable setup.
you'll notice here as we're coming down this back row the first row here already comes to the harvest and this is how you know when you're on time and will easily make the harvest cycle without losing any points so it's a good place to gauge if your uh, harvestable bologna plants or, or whatever plants you're using are already popping up in the back row you may be a little bit behind schedule and you may want to restart and make sure that you're getting a faster watering and pre-planting pace. You'll notice here that two cycles uses exactly 18 and a half watering cans. So here you would humidify as you run through these tiles and have your cans full and use a stamina potion and plant and cycle on again. For those without stamina potions available and without humidify, you can come to the watering can right here, refill and allow your run to regenerate and finish your 50 cycle. Thanks and I hope you find this very useful.